Thank you. Um, hola. It's a, it's a great uh, honor to, to be present uh, among you today. Uh, big, big thanks uh, for the invitation. Uh, I'm sorry I don't speak uh, Catalan or Spanish, and I speak English like an average French. Um, um, open source is not technology, it's a collaboration. Uh, Christian Landgren said, uh, said it yesterday, and we saw it uh, again during uh, day one uh, with the special atmosphere here, uh, the quality of the speakers, and uh, the very ins inspiring projects uh, they presented to uh, us. The, the title of my call is rather long, uh, and, I, and I added a, a sentence yesterday, uh, challenging uh, the institution on how to apply open education, the case of French Ministry of Education. And uh, listening uh, to yesterday's question, and even this morning I, I added, uh, I added, uh, is it possible to live without Google or Microsoft? Uh, that's a big question, I think. Uh, because um, as in the German land uh, of Baden-Württemberg, um, it is also not recommended uh, to use them in the French school. We must do otherwise, uh, and it's not a handicap. I think it's a social, democratic, and politic opportunity. Uh, we all agree that open education is good in theory, I think, but, uh, but in practice. Uh, I heard also yesterday, okay, but, okay, op open education, okay, but uh, Google Classroom is far, far away from Moodle. Um, I don't, um, I'm not claiming here that France uh, will succeed and resist uh, Google Classroom uh, on its own. Uh, I just want to share you uh, two, two points, two, I two ideas. Uh, one practice and, and one policy that seems to me to be going in the right direction, especially if more and more of us here in Barcelona or, and all over Europe uh, do, uh, do the same. So, um, idea one, contribution. Uh, in the depth of one of the millions of free projects found on uh, GitHub, uh, we can read, you can uh, read this in the middle of a page. Uh, we want to thank the French Ministry of Education who founded the development of some fixtures in 2.5 uh, version. It's unusual, I think. The big blue button, it's, it's big blue button, the big blue button community and governance thanks a public uh, administration. Uh, Big Blue Button is a, is, is a free video conferencing tool. It is used in this Congress, uh, and it is integrated into DD, I think, yes. And we also uh, use it in France in a, in a, for one million teacher in, in this scale. Uh, but we also contribute, and that's new. For example, to improve the breaking rooms, uh, the video integration, and the interactive whiteboard. Uh, this year, we did a feedback, a big feedback, uh, asking teachers and students who, what they would like to see improved. Uh, we prioritized the futures and found their development in consultation with uh, the Big Blue Button community. Uh, we paid it, uh, so we paid once, and it is written in the code for the benefit of all, and therefore also for us in this Congress. I think this is a good practice. We take and we give, and we give back. And imagine if all the European public uh, administrations that use Big Blue Button did the same thing all together, hand in hand. That's, that's my first uh, idea. Um, Big Blue Button is part of a larger project called Apps Education, uh, which has other characteristics than contribution. Uh, it came out after the first lockdown to respond quickly to the needs of uh, teachers. Uh, he offers a rich collaborative workspace for all teachers, so nearly one million, uh, based on robust and shared open source software. 
uh, you can you can read it some characteristics. Um, I think that uh, the fact that we hosted and maintained it is hosted and maintained by the minus ministry is fundamental for data protection. And each uh, uh, an original uh, thing, each region uh, region takes care of an open source brick. For instance, uh, La Provence manages Big Blue Button, uh, Brittany manages uh, Nextcloud, I think, and so on. Uh, and it enc encourages teachers to also contribute by creating and sharing OER, open educational resources, uh, in a sovereign and trusting environment. Uh, here you can see, you see my home page, my personal home page, uh, with um, the, the application that I have chosen to display. I will show you a, f uh, a few very quickly because I, I know I have a little, not so much time. Uh, so Big Blue Button, we, we already talk, talked about it. Uh, Next Cloud, a kind of Google Drive alter alternative. LibreOffice uh, Libre Online uh, for real-time collaboration. And, uh, in reality, it's not yet at the level of Google, uh, but it works. And it's the same as with Big Blue Button. If we join forces by really giving ourselves the means, we can catch up with Google. PeerTube. Uh, I saw a YouTube video, Florent, yesterday. <laughs> uh, very important to not to be totally dependent on YouTube uh, to upload and share educational videos and student videos, I think. And uh, we also contribute to the development of, uh, of YouTube. A space for publishing articles, like, like a blog. A teacher can easily publish content without asking permissions from anyone. We also propose a, a single and efficient uh, kind of WhatsApp alternative called CHAP. I use it every day. And the, the code source is, uh, is uh, accessible and free, so you, you, can, you can use it if you want. And uh, I insisted on uh, apps education because its models looks like DD. It's a kind of uh, French, it's our French DD. Um, so, uh, and we have Big Blue Button, Nextcloud, Moodle, Etherpad in common. We must work together, in particular, in particular, to help improve the free software embedded in our solution. <laughs> Uh, point two, a few, words, a few words about me, not because I like to talk uh, about myself, but because it seems interesting to me here. I have an uh, atypical profile, I think, uh, for high administration. Uh, but, well, basically, I, I've been a high school math, math teacher for 25 years, but also a free software activist, uh, having founded Pharmasoft 20 years ago. Framasoft has a Wikipedia article in Spanish, so let's try. Uh, Framasoft es una organización de promoción y difusión del software libre. Okay, thank you. Es uno de los principales portales francófonos de la cultura del software libre, tanto en términos de software, uh, whether in service terms, but also in terms of a user in 2001, and I was its president for 12 uh, years. Um, for years, we hoped for a real free software policy in, in French education, but that did not uh, come. And we lost patience, and we were very critical. Uh, I remember I worked personally uh, in the past. My, I, my ministry drives me to despair, Either it doesn't know that free software exists and then it is irresponsible and incompetent, or it knows it and does nothing, and then it is guilty. Uh, by having such words publicly, 
you can well imagine that I would never have thought of finding myself one day in the ministry. But today, times have changed. I was invited to join the ministry a year ago, and I accepted the challenge. Uh, because this is the first time that there, that there is such a free software and open educational uh, uh, resources project manager, uh, and quite high in the organization chart. They told me, be loyal, but be yourself. Well, we will see, but so far it's going, it's going pretty well. So, uh, what I am doing at uh, the French Ministry of Education? Uh, my main task is to uh, create and lead a strategy um, and a specific roadmap to free software and OER in education what we call an open source program, Office OSPO. Uh, education in all, all countries have been using open source for a long time, but often there is no department, department to coordinate it. So, uh, idea, uh, sorry, idea to try to create OSPOs wherever uh, we can even if there is only one person to start, and, uh, and even if the person comes from the fighters. Uh, it's true, it's much easier when your uh, management understands the issues, okay. Uh, here are two quotes uh, from my director who is in direct contact with the Minister of Education. Uh, the quotes here are, for me, amazing. Time is, uh, they are amazing to me, having waited uh, so long to hear them. And when I first heard that, I was very moved. I cried. Uh, I'm not... So, uh, just uh, an extract, common culture, common culture of sharing, mutualization and collaboration, all these great values are obviously 200% compatible with open education. And another quote, if I had a dream, it would be to build in five years the Wikipedia of educational resources. My, my, the, the director of digital of education in France. So, Let's dream all together on a European scale and beyond because it is urgent. Another education and therefore another society is possible. Merci beaucoup. Muchas gracias.